How to live and love in Italy, 16 tips to date an Italian. Playing the dating game in Italy. Is learning how to live in and love Italy the same as learning how to live and love in Italy? In this video to live and love the Italian lifestyle, there are 16 tips on how to date an Italian to learn how to love Italy. So what's not to love about Italy? For many people who visit Italy and get enchanted by the perceived lifestyle, it's challenging not to desire more and want to go back at the earliest opportunity. However, is it the perfect place to live? It may be for some and not for others. Italy has its own social problems just like every other country in the world. There are volcanic eruptions, earthquakes and other natural disasters it's had to contend with over the years, and the people will have to continue living with those dangers in the years to come. Italy has had a very checkered history over hundreds of years, blighted by many wars and the displacement of hundreds and thousands of people. Considering the country only came together as one united nation in the 1860s, it's done well to become one of the industrial economic powerhouses of the world. A world leader in fashion, automobiles, sport, food and wine. Architecture and a deep-rooted pride in its history, as recognised by its hundreds of festivals celebrated up and down the country. The Italian people are some of the healthiest and fittest in the world, with a romantic language, firm family principles, weather to enjoy, and a lifestyle to immerse yourself into with as little effort as possible. Living in Italy as an expat is to love Italy. For some, the loving element in Italy on a more personal level is a natural consequence. And it's this aspect of living in Italy that could be the cherry on the cake. Here are 16 tips on how to live and love in Italy by dating an Italian. Number one, key things to keep in mind about Italian dating customs. The Italian film director Federico Fellini is attributed to saying, life is a combination of magic and pasta. If this sums up the Italian lifestyle, then it's also the blueprint for dating in Italy. Life is to be enjoyed to the full. Two, it's all in the preparation. Take time out to learn the dating customs of Italy. If you have an Italian friend, you can ask for some tips and then take advantage of that opportunity. Otherwise, visit your local cafes and start making friends with locals. As well as improving your Italian language skills, you'll also build up your confidence. Take advantage of the cafe culture to observe how the locals interact with one another. Three, dating is a marathon, not a sprint. Before getting that first date, you may have to be in the friend zone for a while. So overcome any shyness and put yourself out and about by visiting the local cafe, the local market, and accept invitations from work colleagues to socialize. Get to know the people you come into regular contact with, as you would in any new place you move to. But remember that the dating game is a bit different in Italy. Four, punctuality is not a strong point for meeting on a date. It's a woman's prerogative to be late on a first and subsequent date. This can be hard for many men from other countries and cultures to get used to at first. Accept it and admire the scenery around you as you wait. Number five, take the effort to look and smell good. Not doing so will be taken as being disrespectful to your date. Don't fall at the first hurdle by your lack of dress sense and personal hygiene letting you down. Number six, your date may well be still living at home with their parents. About 80% of Italians still live at home up to the age of 30 years old. This could present its own challenges if you're someone who is comparatively well-traveled. But go with the flow. Tanada 7 Tips for the First Date One, going for an aperitivo is actually a great way to get to know someone for the first time. The irony is that having pre-dinner drinks and snacks such as olives, cheese and meat could be the starter for a possible full-blown meaningful relationship. It helps avoid any embarrassing moments with spaghetti sauce being splattered all over your shirt or blouse plus if the date isn't going as well as it might. You don't have to prolong the agony and can make your excuses to leave the venue earlier than planned. Two, tipping can be a sensitive topic, so if you can, seek advice from a friend or work associate who is familiar with the venue, as sometimes it can be regarded as being rude to tip. Date the venue. Going for an aperitivo means meeting in a nice cafe in the early evening between five o'clock and nine o'clock. The drink and snack formula is a well-tried and trusted informal and relaxed way that gives both of you the chance to get to know one another. Pick a venue with a romantic vibe, for example, one that's next to a canal or river, or has amazing views or the lights are dim to set a relaxing ambience. Find some common ground on matters and issues that you both like or agree with to get the conversation flowing. Be prepared to listen more than talk, but always listen intently to show that you are genuinely interested in what your date is sharing with you. And remember, if you're a man, you pay for the date, period. If the first date goes well and you plan for a second date or a third date, 
as a man consider buying her a small bunch of flowers or a box of chocolates on that next date to help build on the fledgling relationship. Are you finding this video interesting and helpful? If so, please feel free to give a thumbs up, comment below the video, and share it with people you think will find this video helpful. And if you're interested in discovering more about the secrets of Italy and La Dolce Vita, please subscribe and kindly click the grey bell icon to be notified of future videos uploaded to the Expat Essentials for Italy channel. 9. Moving up to the next stage of the relationship. Being referred to as the fidanzato or fidanzata, the boyfriend or girlfriend, is a commitment from your Italian date. Be prepared for it if life is working out for you in Italy. There's a lot of rubbish written and spoken about dating in Italy. So just be yourself, be polite, dress well and turn up on time. What can go wrong? 10. Time is of the essence in Italy. Dating is just like eating in Italy. You swap the D for the E and it's the starter before the main course. Italians love their food, and whether at home or in the restaurant, it's a time that's not to be hurried but to be enjoyed. Dating is to be treated in the same way. So if you're dating an Italian, keep this in mind. Take it slow and easy and enjoy. There's always time for another date. Oh, 11. The family. If the relationship is working out well and the dating gradually becomes more frequent, you will be invited eventually to meet your date's family. Take this as a compliment. There is every chance that this will be an event to remember for the rest of your life. Such is the family culture in Italy, you'll likely be introduced to so many siblings, cousins, aunts, uncles and grandparents that you'll be overwhelmed. Yes, you'll be scrutinized, watched and talked about, to the point of experiencing something akin to the Spanish Inquisition. But just relax, enjoy the food and keep the wine intake under strict control. However, a word of warning, this is likely to be a time in your relationship. When your date and her family assess your commitment level, if you're not prepared to go to that next level, don't string your date along to the point that it will further upset people. Be honest with your date and set out your boundaries before accepting the invitation. If she respects and accepts your feelings and the invite is still there, then continue. But if you encounter resistance, then graciously decline the invitation as there are plenty more fish in the sea. Tanj to 12, emotions and passions. The Latin temperament is such that emotions and passions run high. For many expats, this is part of what makes local Italians attractive. Your date, if a typical Italian, will be expressive with their talking, hand gestures and body language. Again, be yourself and, depending on the reason or level of emotion and excitement being shown by your Italian date, be prepared to stay calm and relaxed. At the same time, don't hold back too much on expressing or showing a bit of passion or emotion yourself, as your date won't want to be around a wet blanket. Hashtag 13. This is big in Italian dating culture. Italian women appreciate chivalry. What might be seen by expats as being outdated or no longer accepted by certain members of society in their own country is that Italian women want to be treated like a woman and Italian men know how women should be treated. Good manners and respect are traits and attributes that are held in very high regard in Italy. You can say goodbye to any second date if you fail to apply these social skills. 14. Dating and etiquette rules for men. Men apply some common sense here. 1. Be mindful of how Italian women may perceive you as a foreigner. 2. Accept that you must be patient to gain their trust, even before you get that first date. To do that, play by their rules, including immersing yourself into their way of living. For example, ask yourself what Italians love and what they love doing. The clues are all around you if you just open your mind. 3. Italians love food and wine, so offer to cook a meal. Invite to meet in a bar or cafe for an aperitivo, or suggest to go on a wine tour. 4. Italians love architecture, so invite them to an art gallery or a heritage site to visit some ruins. 5. Italians love music and opera, so invite them to a show. 6. Riding a scooter is an activity many young women enjoy as much as the men. Suggest to her a trip to a nearby town or city for sightseeing or shopping, or a trip to the coast to enjoy a seafood meal. And if you run out of ideas, ask them what they love to do in their free time. This isn't rocket science and it's not unique to Italy and Italians, but use what you have around you in terms of facilities, geography and weather, all of which are unique to Italy to your advantage. 7. Some Italian women play hard to get and some are high maintenance, but so what? There are women like that in your own country, but at least you know Italian women have different values and principles, and if that alone matches your own, then enjoy the experience. 8. Whilst dating is a natural phenomenon, humour isn't. English humour is definitely not an accepted attribute in Italy, and as such it's often regarded as not being funny. 
slapstick comedy might be accepted, and you can find many Italian comedy films that portray the Italian sense of humour. However, when it comes to telling jokes, hold back. At least until you've got to know your date on a more serious level. 9. Dress to impress. Consider how you present yourself. First impressions count in Italy and they will be appreciated by your date and will help get the first date off to a good start. 10. Beware of the yellow peril. What woman doesn't like flowers? In Italy, the color yellow represents jealousy, so avoid giving yellow flowers. Number 15. Dating and etiquette rules for women. Ladies, you may be in for a bit of a culture shock. 1. There's a saying in Italy called mamoni, which means mummy's boy. Many Italian men are tied to their mother's apron well into their 30s. If he comes from a family of many aunts and sisters, then you could have a lot of competition regarding him being smothered with family love. 2. Whilst many Italian women play hard to get, use this to your advantage because many Italian men expect you to play by the same rules. So have fun and enjoy the chase. 3. Expect passion, it comes as standard. Many Italian men are not averse to public affection displays which you don't often see in other countries. Four, vanity also comes as standard. And Italian men take more pride in their appearance than most other nationalities. Five, Italian men generally are polite. It's his prerogative to settle the bill in the bar or restaurant, so thank him. But don't insist that you pay or to go halves as it will likely offend him. Six, because of the strong family culture and values, most Italian men are comfortable around women. So don't be surprised if some of them are quite straightforward in what they say. 7. Many Italian men drive a scooter, so what better opportunity to ask to see the nearby cities, towns, villages, countryside and coastline, whilst also improving your language skills? Time 16. Online dating. Whether you use online dating apps or have never tried it before, but think it's a shortcut to romance, then think again. Although many young Italians use online dating apps, we believe such use is to be avoided like the plague. For a start, being in a new country and connecting with total strangers is asking for trouble. Secondly, Italians are very sociable people and learning communication skills in a country whose whole life revolves around personal interaction and family values should render online dating apps redundant. Let life take you on a real journey of exploration, discovery and fun by meeting real people. So ditch the online dating apps and enjoy yourself. Summary and conclusion. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. This saying is as relevant today as it was when it first came to prominence hundreds of years ago. It will be worth any expat in Italy and not just in Rome to invest some invaluable time learning how to navigate the social and dating etiquette guidelines. The following six guidelines will help you. 1. Understand what Italians enjoy and their lifestyle. Italians love their food, wine and family. It helps explain why they are such a friendly nation. Considering that Italy is a unified country since the 1860s, and its people are very much a warm and welcoming nation. It says a lot about how outsiders perceive Italians to be. While the carefree attitude and lifestyle appeal to thousands of foreigners, inviting millions of people to come and enjoy La Dolce Vita, they play by some strict rules. And that's very evident when it comes to the dating games and dating relationships. Two, be prepared to play at their pace. The carefree attitude of the Italian lifestyle means that nobody is in a hurry. Italian women play hard to get and Italian men expect all women to play by this same rule. 3. Immerse yourself into the Italian dating culture. Watch, listen, learn and do. Visit your local cafes, practice your Italian daily, make friends. And take in the joy of your surroundings, the way of life and the weather. Magic will follow. 4. A summary of the Italian dating rules. These are some of the subtleties to keep in mind. A. Find a common interest. Have fun together, create experiences and happy memories and enjoy life. B. Share feelings. Be sincere, honest and open. Italians are passionate people and expressing their feelings is not unusual for them. So be prepared to come out of your shell if you're introverted. C. Chivalry is not outdated in Italy. The man opens doors for the woman, pays for the woman and respects the woman. D. Online dating apps. Ditch them. So all that's left to say is Carpe diem. Seize the day. We hope you found this video, How to Live and Love in Italy, 16 Tips to Date an Italian. Helpful and exciting. So please feel free to share it with people you think will also find this video worth watching. And don't forget to leave a comment or a question below the video. To get more videos like this one, become an exclusive subscriber to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video.
Click the grey bell icon to ensure you know when the next video will be uploaded. To get more information about the Expat Essentials for Italy channel, check out the other videos in this series by clicking on the end screen that is coming up. And finally, many thanks for watching.